It's Jason with Chicago News. We've tried a couple different CT6, the Cadillac's large sedan. This time we're trying out the 2018 plug-in hybrid version. Without a doubt, this is a really beautiful looking sedan. Some have complained it's a little bit bland looking, you know, but this is a really classy looking design. It's really simple, but at the same time, kind of stands up and in white, this looks fantastic against all this snow. It may be beautiful out here, but it's really cold. It's zero degrees, which means there's no temperature, which means we're getting in and getting warm. We already know how luxurious these CT6s are on the inside. What's really different about this one, obviously, is the powertrain. You've got the two liter turbo engine, 265 horsepower that we already tested in the base CT6. In here, we've got two electric motors that basically sit inside the transmission. The transmission itself is a combination of CVT and it's got some gears in it. It basically sounds a bit overly complicated and what that translates into the driving experience is that sometimes it's a little disconnected. When you put your foot down, you get that immediate torque from the electric motors, but when the gas engine kicks in, there's a bit of a delay. The EV only range, so if you plug this in, charge it up overnight, every night, you're gonna have 31 miles of range, which is pretty fantastic. This has a bigger battery than its German counterparts as far as a large sedan that's a plug-in hybrid. So you get a lot of EV range, which does make this more usable as an electric vehicle. That's your daily route is under 30 miles round trip. You'd never have to put any gas in this thing. Obviously, it's got an extremely high-tech drivetrain. There's technology all throughout this thing. You've got some incredible safety features. We've talked before about Cadillac's systems. One of the best systems they have is the pedestrian detection. This thing tells you every time there's a pedestrian in your range of view, and if there's somebody that's getting ready to cross the street, it'll take over, it has emergency braking. All of the other active safety features that you might like, but especially the pedestrian detection is, is stellar in here. You've got a night vision camera, and even under the night vision camera, you've got pedestrian alerts that show you on the screen with a yellow highlight where the pedestrians are. So again, just highly advanced tech in all of the safety systems. We've talked quite a lot about Cadillac's entertainment system and still a little bit tricky to use. They've improved, they've removed some of the excess buttons and made it so it's mostly touchscreen. You've got a home button and a volume slider here, but everything else is pretty much touchscreen, which is definitely an improvement over having some separate control. As far as smartphone connectivity, you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We've tested out Android Auto and it seems a particularly good adaptation of it in here. Just easy to use the display. Everything is right there where you need it. Another thing we really loved every time we've driven one of these CT6s is the interior quality. Top level materials, you've got some stitching on the top of the dash here. The aluminum sort of V shape that they have in the dash here, but what's really cool is this carbon fiber panel that's along the bottom of the dash here. You know, we've got some burl wood in the doors, but this carbon really kind of ties everything together. It shows you there's a little performance behind this. This actually handles really fantastically, especially for a sedan this size, you know, and something that is this efficient. You know, it's really got kind of a lively personality when you turn the steering wheel. We're not sure if it's some sort of issue with a pre-production version or just something to do with this test car, but we're actually getting some warning lights on this one. There's a, a battery temperature warning that we've got and it has reduced engine power. Now we felt before the acceleration on this, 335 horsepower combined gas and electric but the key is 432 foot-pounds of torque, so this thing has got that instant shove from the torque, but right now with reduced engine power, it's not quite as impressive. We're having a particularly cold snap here in Chicago. It's been days under 20 degrees and several days below zero. Could be a contributing factor to some of the problems we're having with the electrical system on this, but again, you would hope that it could stand up to those types of temperatures. I mean, somebody might own a car like this in a climate like this, so. When the car is in electric only mode, it actually feels a lot more luxurious. The two liter turbo, as we talked about in the, when we tested the base two liter version of this, sounds a bit buzzy. 
you know, it doesn't have as luxurious of a, a sound quality as you might expect. But the electric motor, whisper quiet, very luxurious. As with most hybrids, you've got regenerative braking here. So you step on the brake and all of that energy gets transferred into charging the battery. It works just when you lift off the gas too. So as I lift here, we're getting almost a braking effect without touching the brake and that's charging the battery up all the time. Of course, key to mention that with this kind of plug-in range, this car does qualify for the federal tax credit, which was just extended. So $7,500 tax credit for electrically driven vehicles like this, you know, that's 10% of the purchase price. It starts at $75,000. We've got the base model here. There's really no options on our test car, but there's still tons of features here. A couple things that, you know, you can get as options that, you know, we kind of miss on this one. These seats are very comfortable, but pretty basic. They don't have a ton of adjustments. Uh, they're heated and cooled, but, you know, other cars in this category, we've seen things like, you know, massage seats, that sort of thing. So again, $75,000, the competition here, BMW 7 Series, the Mercedes S-Class, cars like that are tens of thousands of dollars more. So. You know, in a large luxury sedan like this, it's actually a really great value. A couple other really cool features that are packed in here. You know, the rear view mirror at night, when you flip it, instead of it just moving the mirror, you go to a rear view camera, which you can actually use during the day too. I just switched it on now. It gives you a kind of a wider angle view than you can see just out of the mirror alone. The 360 camera is also really fantastic. So when you're backing up, you get a view all around the car. Just a couple of extra really cool features, again, that we've seen before on the CT6, but definitely enjoy using. There's a touchpad here in the center console that we're not a big fan of, you know. It really kind of takes up a little bit of center console space. It's a little tricky to use, it's kind of touchy. And this is a touch screen anyway, so I'm not sure why there needs to be a control here when you can just reach up and touch the screen. Also a wireless charging port. You can put your phone down in here. It should charge wirelessly if that feature is on your phone, but we found that it's really tricky to get the phone at the right angle to charge it. So when you buy a big sedan, you're definitely getting it because you want rear seat space. Tons of room obviously in here, but even in this base model, you get rear seat DVD entertainment. There's a screen behind each seat, wireless headphones, you know, really a lot for your money in, in terms of that. One thing that is a bit odd we found is there's no 12 volt outlet up here at the front. So let's say you're gonna put up a device, you know, a camera, something like that on the front. You know, you're gonna have to run the cord all the way back. Now this does have a built-in recorder so you can record based off of the front and rear cameras. But let's say you're gonna put up a radar detector. Again, it's kind of awkward to have to run the cord all the way to the back seat. All right, so what do we think about this CT6 plug-in hybrid? Well, we already love the CT6 sedan, so adding 31 miles of EV range makes it even better. And at 75,000 for a full-size luxury sedan like this, it's actually a great value too.